Eat eternity. Eat everlasting life. Eat the spirit that lives forever. He said he shall reign forever. Until his kingdom there is no end. Come on, what did he say? Then said Mary unto the end. Then Mary, angel. now God is getting down to the root of her problem. Jesus is getting down to decision. He's getting down to choice. I found this out. You can't make nobody want God. You can push them down all you want to. They ain't getting it. If you have made up your mind you want it, you can forget it. We're looking for the people that say, over here, right here, come to this row, come down this aisle, say yes, yes. Yeah. Come on, church. Anybody got their hands up? Anybody do it like this in the spirit? Anybody said, dip me again. Baptize me again. Tell him, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Let it go through. Read God. Come on, quickly. Then said Mary unto the then angel. Then Mary said to the angel, how, shall how this be? can this be? See, I know not a man. He, he's thinking natural. Whew. She don't understand. This is a divine deposit. He said, I ain't going to use no man for this. Behold, a woman shall go past a man. Hallelujah. He said, in this is not male nor female. In the spirit, every man got to come forth with a child of Jesus. Just like a woman. Men and women travail in this real holiness. Ain't no cute men. With their legs crossed. All of God's men say, yes. Oh, that's the trouble. There's too many cute men, too many gay men, too many sweet brothers that don't want God to change them. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, tell that man, I'm going to humble myself tonight. Some people have a hang up, but I don't want to get it from no woman. You better get it who you can get it through. Come on now. God don't have a freakness. If it's a mother and a father naturally takes that in the spirit. Help me Holy Ghost. Because that mother is a sustainer of life. Birthing that spirit forth. Supplying into that ministry what it needs. When the word of God is dropped into the spirit of the daughter of Zion. She travails and wails and laments to deliverance hit the church. When a daughter of Zion hear the word of God talk, she automatically start travailing because that's her love affair with him. When she hear him speak, tears start running down. Just like a river. Come on and say yes. That's what his church is about. Read it. And the angel answered and said The angel her, said unto her, the Holy Ghost. She said, how can it be? That's what he wants you to ask him. Like, Lord, how can it be? And some of us in our mind are saying, I'm dirty, I'm low down. God know I'm a hypocrite. Hey! I'm a backslide. I left home nasty tonight. Thought before I got here. Some of y'all involved in stuff, you know you can't get out. So God said, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to put an old mother on a sacrifice. I'm going to let her groan and fast for days to reach a lost generation that can't get to God. That no matter what circumstance they're in, mother don't care about your sin tonight. If you want God, God going to reach you. Pull you out the gutter tonight. Transform you just that fast. Hey, if you believe it. He wants you to ask in your mind, how can it be? God, you tell me I can be something. You tell me I can have a ministry. You tell me I can live holy. You tell me I can say goodbye. You tell me I don't have to go back to it no more. Give it here! The reason why people don't live sanctified, they haven't had enough power in them to change them from it. 
If you ain't got the mess out you love, you're going to keep going back to it. You got to have something in you that cleans that mess out. That takes a desire. Say amen. She said, how can it be? He said, this is how it's going to happen. The, come on. The Holy Ghost still come up on you. The Holy Ghost. Hey, don't come up on you. And the power Wait. of the heart. The power of God starts at your feet and starts coming up. It works just like death. Because everything in him is death and resurrection. He kills you to bring you alive. You die in one place to step into another. The anointing that Mother Boyd carries, the reason why that impact is so great, the reason why God gave her the charger in such a magnitude, he's killing the old to bring you forth into the new. The Holy Ghost going to come up upon you, yes? Read. Power of the highest shall overshadow. The power of the highest gonna catch you up. That's why the old, those of you that were in the service last night, all night long you've been hearing, oh God, oh God. Oh Jesus. The sound of God went down in your belly. And it's talking right now. Say yes! Yes! Power! I'm not a little, you'll see it. Hey! Power hit that house. And all night long, God been in there making room. All night long, God been in there. Oh, yeah! You know why he groans in you and pray in you? He want to stay. He wants you to love, fall in love with him. He wants you to become comfortable with him. He wanted to become good to you. So he says, stay here, Lord. Don't leave me, Jesus. This is so precious. I don't want to lose it, Lord. Stay in me. Keep on talking in me. He said, I'm on walk in you. I'm on talk in you. I'm on live in you. Me and my father going to come in and live. He said, the Holy Ghost, the highest power will overshadow you. Read it. Come on. Therefore also that holy that thing. That holy thing in you, Mary. Which shall be born of thee. Hey! Which shall see? be called. He shall be. Come on. The Son of God. It's Jesus, the Son of God. This is a natural experience. I want you to see a formula. He's bringing her a word from God. The seed, it's the word. Just like I'm bringing you. But it takes the spirit to keep the word alive. She's bringing a natural Jesus. I want to show you this quickly. Come on. And behold, behold thy cousin Elizabeth. Elizabeth is pregnant. She has also conceived a son in her old age. Yes, come on. And this is the sixth month with her. When Mary went to speak to Elizabeth, John laying in Elizabeth's belly. Jesus in Mary. And Jesus speaks to John. Ho! Oh! And fills him with the Holy Ghost. When he fills John with the Holy Ghost. He quickens. Elizabeth said, good God. The baby leaves. See, if you got the word and you're sleeping now. Oh! What's wrong with the church? Ain't no word in us. Music and emotions. We don't know nothing. Hey! That's why we looking crazy. Come on, read. Who was called barren? She was barren. But with God, nothing shall Nothing! Shall be impossible. Read. And Mary said. Mary said. Behold the handmaid. Now look Lord. at Jesus. I'm closing. Here's Jesus. Standing back in heaven. He ain't called Jesus. He called the word of God. He's in the mouth of Gabriel. Don't fool yourself. Hey. He's waiting. To step in Mary. But you got to give me the right answer. You got to give me the right response. Y'all don't hear me. You got to mean what you say. You got to, Mary had to think, I'm going to be criticized, ridiculed, persecuted. My family going to forsake me. God, do I want this? You think you're going to get to anointing and go off your own thing and be a quack. If you mess with the real spirit and don't mean right, you're going to be crazy. Because any folks crazy. And got a crowd too, don't fool yourself. They draw by the thousands under the spirit of divination. They're illegal. They haven't paid the time for what they produce. 
That's what a divination is, illegal access. Hey! You ain't put in the consecration, ain't put in the day, ain't died. You're just a copycat. You hear somebody see it, you go out and try to do it. And the devil have you wind up somewhere on the corner with a sign with a whole line of people messing up folks. Oh, I ain't getting no amen now. He said, if you don't want the whole role, become whole sanctified, get your whole body, soul, and spirit sanctified, you're going to mess with God and be crazy.